maybe after reading, uh, learning about this classical conditioning, you think that perhaps classical conditioning isn't really um, apparent in our lives. So I thought I would use a couple slides just to demonstrate how classical conditioning can be applied in our own daily lives. So the first example that I've um, come up with is scary movies. Um, those of you who like horror movies, um, I want to let you know that they wouldn't be scary if they didn't use classical conditioning. So think about what a scary movie would be like without the soundtrack because a scary movie completely relies on classical conditioning with the soundtrack. Most of them use classical conditioning with the soundtrack to build the tension, to build the anticipation, to build the fear factor. So what they do is they start out, it's like the first scene or so, and the bad guy comes. And what they'll do is they'll take a distinct sound to alert you that, uh-oh, something's going to happen. And as soon as you hear that sound, you start making the connection, oh, there's a different sound. And then you associate that sound with the bad guy. And so whenever you hear that sound, you know the bad guy's around, and they build it, build it, build it, and they put you on the edge of your seat. And in fact, those of you who can't watch scary movies, all you have to do is uh, put on headphones, and you can probably watch them just fine, because they won't be nearly as scary, scary without the classical conditioning that's built in with the soundtrack. Thank <laughs> you. 